Good evening and welcome parents, families, distinguished guests, town officials, faculty, and students of the Griswold Middle School class of 2023. I'm Mr. Zubek, principal of Griswold Middle School, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the eighth grade promotion ceremony. We have a wonderful event planned for you this evening to celebrate these amazing students' promotion from our middle school. I'd like to begin our ceremony by introducing our National Junior Honor Society president, Micah Hamill, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand at this time. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Micah. It is my pleasure to welcome our first speaker of the evening, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Sean McKenna. Good evening, distinguished guests, parents, and families, Griswold Board of Education, faculty and staff, town officials, and our talented Griswold Middle School eighth grade class. GMS eighth graders, this promotion ceremony marks a major transition in your personal journey and a significant step on your path forward. After the school year, middle school will be behind you and a host of opportunities await you in the future where you can thrive as engaged citizens, effective communicators, critical thinkers, and resilient problem solvers. Your path forward brings you closer to Griswold's vision of the graduate. After this evening, you are just four years away. As you enter high school, you can be more engaged by involving yourself in your school and your community. This starts with small acts each and every day. Work hard and take your studies seriously. Be kind to one another. Show respect and avoid disrespect. Model good behavior. Make others feel welcomed and supported. Learn from and persevere through bad choices. Be the best that you can be. As you work on being effective communicators, learn to use your words wisely and carefully. This starts with practicing how to best communicate your ideas, your opinions, and your thinking. Your spoken and written words are equally important and potentially powerful. Being an effective communicator also means being responsible on social media and avoiding the negativity of gossip, rumors, and hurtful comments. Communicate better with others by using your words to your advantage and to make meaning in your lives. As critical thinkers and resilient problem solvers, always think before acting. It's good to pause, to breathe slowly before you act. To become more skilled at critical thinking and problem solving, Take the time to study dilemmas and complex problems carefully. You all have been blessed with minds ready to work, ready to solve problems, so make sure you engage your mind first so that you can solve the problems you face. You all deserve full recognition this evening for concluding your eighth grade experience. You deserve to celebrate and dream as you approach a new beginning. We are all very proud of you. As you start your high school experience, just know that you are the captain of your destiny. Our vision of the graduate awaits for you to reach new heights and so much more. Have fun this evening and with your future. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Mr. McKenna. Please welcome the chairperson of the Grizzle Board of Education, Mrs. Mary Beth Malin. Welcome, parents, guardians, families, and friends, Superintendent of Grizzle Public Schools, Director of Teaching, Learning, and Innovation, Administration, and the Grizzle Board of Education. It is always my pleasure speaking to you this evening. You should be very proud of all your accomplishments you have achieved here, and you should be looking forward to the next four years and what you still can accomplish. Please take the time to thank a parent and guardian, a teacher, or someone who helped you become the person you are today. During your years at Griswold Middle School, you were taught to be respectful and responsible each day. 
These two words are going to be a huge part of your life for the next four years and beyond. Take the lessons learned here at Grizzle Middle School and move on to your next four-year journey and expand and grow from them. The next four years at Grizzled High School, VOAG, Tech School, or whatever high school you have chosen, be respectful and responsible students. Always do your best, make good choices. On behalf of the Grizzle Board of Education, I would like to wish the Grizzle Middle School Class of 2023. Congratulations, best of luck, and have a fun and safe summer. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Malin. Each year, students are selected by the eighth grade teachers and given the honor to address their classmates during this promotion ceremony. Our first student speaker is Michaela Lopez. Welcome faculty, families, and class of 2027. I want to first thank you all for being here on our special night. I've attended Grizzle Public Schools for eight years and will be continuing on to GHS. Most of you I've gone to school with for all eight of my years here, but my closest friendships and most difficult obstacles have happened within the last four. As students, we have survived the tough change of getting home and wanting to play outside to now, wanting to go home and take a nap. We also successfully made the transition from having a single class in elementary school that had all six subjects to attending six different classrooms with six different teachers and six different groups of kids. Most of all, our biggest obstacle was, of course, COVID, something that affected our entire middle school experience. In fifth grade, I was so excited to have dances, school events, the rap battles with misfits, and oh, how quickly that got cut short. Near the end of my fifth grade year, we suddenly got two weeks off of school. I remember walking out the door, excited to be off for two weeks, already making plans with my friends, just to realize that we were going to be in a lockdown during a global pandemic. We then entered our sixth grade year with masks and shields on a hybrid schedule separated from half of our class. Although I know our teachers were well aware of our fibs, I know most of us played that my mic's not working or my camera's not working card just so we could avoid participation. In hindsight, we probably owe some of those teachers a few apologies. Next, in seventh grade, we entered with just masks, and finally, after two years, we got them off. After all that time, we were able to see everyone's faces for the first time in a long time. Does anybody know what the Milky Way is? Mr. Galpo clarified that for me in seventh grade, and believe it or not, it's not a lake in space. Yes, I actually thought the Milky Way was a lake in space. Finally, eighth grade, the year we've all been waiting for. Can you believe it was our first normal year of middle school? We had so much to look forward to. The eighth grade holiday hill trip, the carnival, the barbecue, the student versus faculty volleyball game. This year alone, I've made so many unforgettable memories. While it was a good year, it's also been a crazy year. Personally, for me, I've had one class with three different teachers. Although it was difficult, it taught me how to respect and appreciate different teachers' personalities and teaching styles. Ms. Kuhn and Ms. Klimas, thank you for joining our community and making such a big impact on every student you interact, interacted with. You two are supportive, motivating, inspiring, and someone you can talk to about anything. This year I've learned how to balance academics, home life, and my attitude. Thank you, Ms. Garvin, for giving me an attitude adjustment. Looking back, it was most definitely needed. We also owe a huge thank you to Ms. Kaliva and Ms. Wojo for being the people that so many of us can come to for help with our problems, anytime and anywhere. And we can't forget all of our amazing exploratory teachers who have put up with us for the last four years. There's so many others to thank, but that would take all night. Lastly, my two biggest thank yous go to my mom, the biggest role model in my life, the woman I'm inspired to be when I grow up, and my dad for pushing me to be the best me possible. Both of my parents are loving, caring, protective, and motivating. You both put everything and everyone before yourselves, and I don't know who or what I'd be without you guys. The best advice I've given my, my parents have given me is it's okay to be different. It's a good thing. I believed that until I walked into middle school. Being in middle school is the hardest thing when you are always comparing yourself to somebody else. But now looking out and seeing how different we all are, it is a good thing. Being different is good. Being different is what makes you unique. Being unique is what makes you, you. Could I get a show of hands on who is not attending Grizzled High School next year? 
Look around and see how many people are going their separate ways, how many faces we might not see again. As Dr. Seuss said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Today shouldn't be a sad day. Promotion is a time to celebrate our accomplishments. Although eighth grade was tough, we all made it through together. We are not going to cry because our time together is over. I want us to laugh and smile because of the memories we made. As you walk across this stage and receive your middle school diploma, remember you deserve it. You worked through all the obstacles, you put the effort in, you showed up, you turned in your assignments, you completed your expo project, you survived the god-awful SBAC and MAP testing, and finally, now, we can all say that we conquered middle school. Class of 2027, I wish you the best wherever this next chapter in life takes you, and I hope to see you all graduate high school in four years. Thank you. And remember, And remember, bus seven will be late, and bus 10 is one run. Thank you, Michaela, great job. Our next student speaker this evening is Nolan Thomas. Wow, there are a lot of you here. My name is Nolan Thomas. To start my speech, I want to congratulate the class of 2027 for making it this far, especially with missing multiple years of the normal middle school experience. I would also like to thank Griswold Middle School staff for pulling through during the time of COVID. I'm new here, so I can't say too much about Griswold before this year, but my time here has definitely been something. I learned not to ask Mr. Scholl about his breakfast. It's a sensitive subject for him. I learned to probably not sit next to Sam Wazi in Mrs. K's math class. We laughed way too much. And I also learned not to give Chris Coleman the wrong answers in Kahoot. He likes the school Chromebook now. But most of all, I learned not to give up. Thinking about your future isn't something that you need to start in eighth grade. There are so many questions like, what do you want to be when you're older? What do you want to make of your life? Who do you want to become? Some of these questions can't be answered. We are continue to be asked them. So starting here, how do you want to spend your next four years in high school? Do you want to branch out and try a new sport or subject? Do you want to make new friends? Even with all these questions and the life you have ahead of you, you can't give up. From a small test that you don't want to try on to even completing college, you can't stop when you've just started. Wrestling has taught me that over and over again. Each match you learn something new, but you always know to never give up. When you're struggling to breathe or to get out from the bottom, you still continue to fight. My dad, who's my biggest supporter, and my dad, who's also my coach, and my mom, who's my biggest supporter, have taught me this since day one, mentally and physically. No matter what you're facing, you fight. You keep fighting even when it feels like you're about to give up. My friend Allie Nelson, who lost her battle with mental health, can teach us this in many ways. Quote, the biggest thing is you really have to be brave about everything. You have to be confident in yourself and never underestimate your opponent, end quote. When she says opponent, some of you may think of the softball team you're going against next week, or for me, even a match coming up soon. But your opponent can be anything. From a Civil War test in Mr. Felty's room to getting out of bed, your opponent can be anything hard that you face. But like Ali said, we need to be brave and try to get past it. We need to persevere. Being the new kid is a weird experience, and we're all going to be new next year, just like we were in the fifth grade. But knowing we got through middle school, we can get through high school and grow to inspire others. All of us are very different, and we will go down different paths, but we live for today and what impact we can make going forward, not just for others, but for ourselves. Helen Keller once said, quote, although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it, end quote. I'm hoping our generation doesn't give up. We have so much more to face, but we can make the best of it. I thank my parents, and I, I hope all, you all thank yours, for staying beside you and motivating you to keep going. Congratulations to the class of 2027, and good luck for what's to come. Thank you. Thank you, Nolan. As you can imagine, it's difficult enough to speak in front of a class of students, let alone a full gymnasium, so you guys did a great job. 
At this time, we'd like to recognize two students who received our highest honors of distinction at our award ceremony. They are the two students with the highest overall averages. Could Sean Silva and Natasha Ali please stand to be recognized? Now please welcome our select choir under the direction of the very talented Mrs. Kaylee Shea.
All right, thank you, Select Choir. It is with great pride and a big smile that I get, now get to address the middle school class of 2023. I began my career at GMS as the assistant principal in the fall of 2019, which is coincidentally the same year that all of you began middle school as fifth graders, which is why I feel so connected to your class and will probably remember you forever because you're the first class I had the privilege of seeing growing through all four years of middle school. I thought it would be fun, or at least interesting, to look back at my behavior log when I was assistant principal that I kept to see some of the very first incidents that I ran into with this class. And guess who was the very first student that I had to deal with in my first year of being assistant principal? It was a fifth grader, so it was one of you. About two days into my administrative career, can you guys guess it all? Kiki? No. That's a good guess, but no. <laughs> it was that terrible student, Dylan Marchand. Marchand. That's right. The very first student in my administrative career that I had to uh, discipline was Dylan. Sorry if this embarrasses you, Dylan. I think he bumped into someone in the hallway, which in fifth grade is a big deal. Um, well, the good news is I think that was the first and last time Dylan was ever in my office for something bad. He's been nothing but an absolute exemplar student since. Um, yeah, good job, Dylan. <laughs> um, anyways, looking back at that long really didn't give me any, uh, any information for my speech. I just thought that I'd mention that because it was fun. Uh, but I did sit down when I finally sat down, and uh, because I feel so connected to you guys, I really wanted this speech, this speech to be special. I could have gone all kinds of ways with it. Uh, my first thought, obviously, was COVID. You guys went through those trials and came out on top, but decided against that. Um, of course, my next thought was to talk about how much energy your class has, because, I mean, there is no comparison to the amount of energy in this class. I remember how loud the fifth grade lunchroom was, you had to wear earplugs to go in there, and it hasn't been the same since. Each year, they've quieted down a little bit. And I've had to listen to Cadence and Kiki shouting in the hallways for four years. Then I realized that they're not shouting, they're just talking. <laughs> and really, I could have picked any two of you. I don't know why I picked Cadence and Kiki. But you guys definitely bring the energy everywhere. <laughs> I'm sure your teachers will tell you that. Um, but I realize that even though I would consider you the most energetic class I've ever seen, that's not what makes you special or sets you apart. Uh, you know what's truly remarkable about your class? It's the beautiful mix of personalities that make you guys so unique. I've been able to witness your academic, emotional, social, and physical growth over the last four years. And one thing that has been constant is that you are all so different and you've never been afraid to show it and it's never really gotten between you. Some of you are artists, athletes, some of you are math whizzes, some of you are poets, some of you are good with your hands, and some of you are definitely social butterflies. Yet despite your beautiful differences, you've managed to become a close-knit group, more so than I think you know, and more so than I've seen in any other class that I've promoted from GMS. This truly dawned on me during recess one day. Someone decided to bring a volleyball. And it started with just a group of three friends hitting the ball around, but then two more people joined in, one more person joined in, another three people joined in. Pretty soon, we had a circle of 30 kids hitting the ball back and forth. Not many more than like twice before it hit the ground, but they would hit the ball, it hit the ground, they hit the ball, someone else would hit it. But as I looked around the group, I realized how un unbelievably diverse this group was. So many people joined in from almost every social group that you guys have. Um, I looked at all your faces and all I saw was amazing smiles and it didn't matter who you were because you're all in a giant circle of acceptance and fun. And then I realized, <laughs> I realized that even though you guys are so different, how you guys got along so well, and it didn't matter what happened in the hallways or in the classrooms. Once you guys got together outside in recess, 
on the trip, on the field trip this past week, during the barbecue, your one united class, which is so different than I'm used to. This volleyball game seemed to last for a month or two, and then the Gaga pit came in, and that took over, but the game just moved to the Gaga ball pit. But I think over time, unwillingly, you discovered that your diverse personalities were like puzzle pieces that fit together per perfectly. You've learned from one another, grown together, and formed bonds that will last a lifetime. It's like you've got your own little family here in Griswold Middle School. So class of 2023, as you say your goodbyes to Griswold Middle School, hold on to the memories you've made and the lessons you've learned. I want you to show the world that unity and acceptance is cool. Be the trend centers, the trailblazers who embrace differences and celebrate the quirks that make you who you are. Be the ones who bring people together, who appreciate the strengths and talents of others, and who build bridges, not roadblocks. Be like the Avengers, a ragtag group of misfits who found strengths in each other's diversity. Your class has a power to make a positive impact on the world, and I have no doubt that you guys will do that. You're about to embark on new adventures, face new challenges, create new memories. But no matter where life takes you, please keep that special Griswold Middle School energy alive and know that you are all different, you are all unique, and that's okay because that's why you are so special. Congratulations, class of 2023. You've got this, and I can't wait to see the incredible things you do. It has been my privilege and a lot of fun being your principal. At this time, please welcome Grizzle Middle School Assistant Principal, Mr. Parkinson, to the podium, who will begin the awarding of certificates. Thank you, Mr. Zubek, and hello, everybody. It's my absolute pleasure to be here with you all to present this year's eighth grade class. This is only my second promotion ceremony, but it is always obvious to me that each class brings its own specific type of energy to middle school. And as Mr. Zubek mentioned, this year's group is definitely just a lot of it. I've had the pleasure to get to know so many of you the past years. Regardless of what life throws at you, be sure to move forward that same relentless energy that you lived every day with here at GMS. And if you do this, I have no doubt you'll find success in whatever path you choose. So thank you again for allowing me and everyone up here to be part of your journey. And without further ado, I hope you're all comfortable, I would like to present to you the Griswold Middle School Class of 2023. Brandon Ackles. <laughs> Natasha Ali. <clears throat> Cameron Anderson. Violet Andriozzi. Tristan Austin. Aiden Avery. Dylan Bailey. Christopher Baldoni. <laughs> Haley Bartholomew. <laughs> Haley Bell. <laughs> Natalie Bell. Courtney Benoit. <laughs> Lucas Berry. <laughs> Bella Blondette. <laughs> Sophie. 
Sonny Botello. Kimani Boyce. Benjamin Birchman. Emily Kedu. Giselle Carrion. Joy Chenard. Jasper Cloutier. Michael Coffey. Christopher Coleman. Tyson Cook. Abigail Cody. Aiden Cody. Alexandra Crowley. Ryan Schmier. Amelia Davidson. Jackson D'Amico. Logan D'Amico. Evans DeRose. Cameron Deskus. Alora Diorio. Joshua Duby. Lila Dugas. Emily Durand. Channing Edwards. Emily Eliason. Charles Emmanuel. Cameron Erb. Pablo Feliciano Pons. Cooper Florence Kirk. Jordan Frizzell. Sophie Gear. Carter Gladu. Seamus Guntner. Karis Hagen. Micah Hamill.
Jason Harden. Neve Healy. Madeline Hopkins. Gabriel Horlick. Isabella Ionisi. Travis Jean. Brandy Ray Johnson. Aiden Kingston. Kevin Ledoux. Tristan Lemire. Jonathan Lemoy. Amanda Lester. Michaela Lopez. Sebastian Lorenzano. Dylan Marshawn. Tessa Marshawn. Alexis Martin. Emma Martin. Vivian Mastracchio. Layla Medina Ferrari. Carter Merritt. Jacob Messina. Ren Miles. Ashlyn Monahan. Brenton Navin. Samuel Norman. Ashlyn O'Connor.
Capri O'Neill. Kathleen Osborne. Lucas Otero. Riley Parody. Darsh Patel. Riley Perone. Camille Perry. Jenny Prevalon. Madison Procious. Leah Proctor. Raylin Prophet. Bradley Rush. <laughs> Natalia Santiago. <laughs> Haley Searcy. Logan Sinkowski. Sean Silva. Kendall Simon. Andrew Smith. Armani Smith. Wyatt Snyder. Madeline Stringer. Samantha Strout. Kingston Sullivan. Ariana Taylor. Nolan Thomas. Aiden Torrey. Madison Towsley. <laughs> Garrig Turk. <laughs> Leah Valentine. Aubriana Vega.
Paige Vreeland. Joshua Waters. Samantha Wazanowitz. Cadence Weichel. Caden Willie. Tyler Winnings. Maximo Robel. Michael Wizicki. All right, congratulations to the now class of 2027. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the following people, Mrs. Polonin and the Griswold High School staff for creating and sharing this beautiful venue for our promotion today. <laughs> Griswold Middle School Administrative Assistants, Mrs. Bissonette, Mrs. Donahue, and Mrs. Fazula. Our assistant principal, Mr. Parkinson. <laughs> Mrs. Scholl, our school counselor. <laughs> our absolutely amazing GMS faculty and staff who does an outstanding job of getting our students through middle school and ready for high school and beyond. Director of Teaching, Learning, and Innovation, Mr. Labassier. <laughs> Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Sean McKenna. <laughs> Griswold Board of Education, who provides outstanding support for our schools. Special thanks to those members in attendance with us this evening, Mrs. Malin, Mrs. Polanski, and Mrs. O'Neill Eaton. And last but not least, our parents and families who support all of our students, thank you for sharing your kids with us. It has been an absolute pleasure. In just a moment, our students will begin their procession out of the gymnasium. We ask that everyone remain in their seats until all of our students have exited the gym. At which point, please join our students in the graduate garden located in the front of the high school. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.